We turn now to the tragic case of a woman who stabbed her friend to death, believing a guardian angel had instructed her to do so. This took place in the Wellington suburb of Strathmore in May. It had its judicial ending in the High Court in Wellington today, with the woman who can't be named being found not guilty of murder by reason of insanity. The victim was Heidi Pryor, 37 years old and an expat Australian who'd lived in Wellington for 10 years, a lover of mountain biking she'd taken to Wellington's hills with great enthusiasm. Our court reporter Anne-Marie May on what the court heard about the terrible circumstances in which she died. Well, Justice Simon France said that when this woman stabbed Heidi Pryor, she believed she was acting under the instruction of a guardian angel who had told her that Ms Pryor was a martyr of some kind whose death would save the world. The court heard the woman had become friends because their partners were friends, and on the night that she died, Heidi Pryor was supposed to go and collect her husband from the airport, but this woman said, come round and have a meal before you go. Uh, now, when she got there, she noticed the woman behaving strangely. This included things like putting a beanbag next to a chair, standing on the chair and falling off onto the beanbag. And Ms Pryor said, there's clearly something not right here. I'm going to call your parents and get some help. When she said that, apparently that kind of distressed this woman. She took a knife and stabbed Ms Pryor several times, including two blows to the chest including two blows to the chest and that um, was what led to her almost immediate uh, death. Uh, Justice Simon France said that that uh, cut through some very essential arteries and veins. Uh, the woman had suffered an earlier psychotic episode last year and had been on medication for that but uh, since uh, early this year her health had declined again and she had become fixated on an imaginary friend. Uh, she thought that person was corresponding with her through song lyrics on social media and uh, the judge said the delusions were getting worse but until Heidi Pryor's death no one had realised um, that that was what was going on. Anne-Marie can I just clarify something here, w those of us who grew up um, w watching people being found not guilty by reason of insanity obviously it went to trial and the jury made that determination but that's changed hasn't it mm. both generally and specifically that's not the case here and it's not the case here because the crown was prepared to accept a verdict of insanity is that right that's right, um, because uh, until a few years ago, you're right, a jury did have to decide this, but now the law has changed so that if the Crown and the defence agree that there is this uh, diminished responsibility, if you like, then uh, there's no need for a jury right. to be involved. A judge can hear evidence and can then make a decision on that. So today we heard from two experienced psychiatrists. One of them was Professor Philip Brindead, who was essentially giving evidence for the Crown, and the other was Dr Justin Barry Walsh, who was called by the defence. Uh, Professor Brindead said that while the woman had done very well mentally since the killing, there was uh, no doubt that she was severely mentally ill at the time and had no insight uh, that her health had deteriorated so rapidly. He said she'd come off her medication and the result was a catastrophe, and he said she had to be made a special patient so that extra safety uh, me measures could be put in place for her. Uh, Dr Justin Barry Walsh also agreed with that. He said that was in her interest and the public's. He said if she was just uh, held in a facility as a mentally unwell person, she uh, wouldn't be subject to such a restrictive regime. She might fall out of the system and that could have uh, terrible yeah. potential results. Right, so what does happen to her now, given those kinds of conversations? Well, based on those assessments, Justice France made the order that the woman be retained as a special patient in a mental health facility. He said that um, includes uh, giving those responsible for her care and her potential release greater powers when she comes out. They can put oversight and special conditions on her that wouldn't be the case otherwise. Uh, he lifted name suppression for her, but he's given her until December the 16th to apply to the court of appeal to uh, have that overturned and name suppression continued. Uh, this of course has been tragic all around. Both families, Heidi Pryor's and the woman's, were in court. Heidi Pryor of course had been married just months before she died and at the end of today's hearing Justice France expressed his deep sympathy to all those involved. Anne-Marie May, our Wellington court reporter from the Wellington Newsroom.